We are covering PL300 Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst. Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date. If you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comments. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. To get the complete list of questions and answers, click on the playlist link provided in the description. Our question is, you are creating a quick measure as shown in the following exhibit. See this table given? You need to create a monthly rolling average measure for sales over time. How should you configure the quick measure calculation? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. See this one, the table for base value, the table for date, the table for period. This is the correct answer, the ones circled with red color. Total sales from the table of base value, dates from the table of date and months from the table of period. Next one, you have the Power BI data model shown in the following exhibit. See this one? The sales table contains records of sales by day from the last five years up to today's date. You plan to create a measure to return the total sales of March 2021 when March 2022 is selected. Which DX expression should you use? Option A. Calculate previous year. Option B, total YTD. Option C, calculate same period last year. Option D, sum. The correct answer is option C, 